Lately I've been on fire, shit I can't miss Clutch shot, MJ in the finals, nigga game six I just bought a scrizzy, it's about to get flizzy I'ma take that dope money, put it in my business What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Slim Beach. I'm here with Chuck B and Arco, and this is Everybody Knows Sports Episode Two, man. How y'all doing? What's up, everybody? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes, sir, man. I just got this game going right now. Let's go, yeah. Falcons. <laughs> you, got any, you got any money on it? No, no. <laughs> I would never put no money on Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> Man, not after that Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to talk? You guys want to talk about college or pro first? Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be football, right? I mean, yeah. Time. If y'all want to start off the pro, uh, the college talk, y'all might want to wait till Yago get in here. I won't be much help. Well, it ain't really. Much to I, don't, I don't really stay in tune with the whole college, but. Y'all want to talk some NFL? I'm with it. Well, so let's start off with that Thursday night game, then do it in order. Um, all right, well, you want to kick it off? You want me to kick it off? I mean, well, did you guys watch the game? I saw some of it, I didn't catch all of it. Did you see um, like the, the hit and the injury and all that? Yeah. It's uh, it's unfortunate, man, because I really thought Tua was going to do something. I, I think he has a, well, I don't want to say had, but he has potential to be at least a decent quarterback in this league. But them, them concussions, I think that's going to end the season. <laughs> His whole body is really broken, like before he even got to the NFL. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to play an NFL game. To be honest, he got so hurt. He got so hurt. Uh. So badly hurt, excuse me, in college. Uh, I, remember, I, I, I was watching the lab too. I remember uh, them, them carting him off the field. He had uh, mm -hmm. broken ribs, hips was broke, man. Like he looked like he'd been in a car wreck or something, man. So to, to see him bounce back and actually become a starting NFL quarterback was amazing to me. Just that. Just that by itself, uh, I think he can bounce back from this, but I think he might want to ride the bench, man, sit behind somebody, let him get some top-tier experience like uh, like some of the other young quarterbacks did. You know? what? Didn't he sit in his first year? Did they throw him straight into the fire? They, they threw him in the fire, man. As soon as he, he sit. Soon, soon as he, because I but think he got healthy. I feel like he, he got a good understanding for the game. It's just what nobody, what nobody in Miami to sit behind. <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tripping. I'm probably wrong, but I thought he sat behind Tannehill. But he, you're right. They moved him to Tennessee as soon as they got him. So they, they um, there was that year with Brian Flores where they were trying to decide if they were going to start him or not. I think. I think you're right. I think it did take a couple of games. Okay. And then they got rid of Flores. He ended up suing the NFL and all that. Mm. Okay. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I think that. Yeah, that's when they got in trouble for tampering with Tom Brady. Because they were trying to get Tom Brady, and then they were trying to get Deshaun Watson, and then they drafted him, and then they played. Wasn't it Teddy Bird? Bridgewater too that they had for a while that he was trying to play mm -hmm. after even after they got rid of him. Oh, yeah, I, I just remember when he got into that that ugly hit where he was throwing up gang signs. Like I was really scared for him on that one. Like it was crazy. Yeah, I was wondering I if he was going to be able to recover from that one, but he was able to bounce back. So I hope he bounces back, but. Was he because, I mean, he, he got his first concussion at Alabama, and he's had either four or five concussions. Yeah, that's the scary part. Like, at this point, he should already have some decent CTE. I mean, yeah, there's definitely got to be some, I don't know. I don't want to speak too much on it, but it definitely seems like he might be in a situation where he had, he's already sustained some permanent damage. Yeah. Let's hope he chooses health over wealth. 
for sure. But uh, <laughs> speaking of quarterbacks who had to take a seat, my boy Bryce Young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How y'all yeah. feel about that? Uh, uh, it's more. Go, you go ahead, Arco. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just unfortunate. Uh, for for the for the uh for Green Bay man. Uh, I don't know where they where they gonna go from here. Any backup? Anybody sitting up sitting behind him? I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even know what was wrong with him. Uh, man, what he, good, I guess. <laughs> he's two and, and eighteen in two seasons, man. Yeah. But I guess this is be the true uh the true find out right here because you know they got Andy Dalton taking snaps now. So if Andy Dalton can elevate that offense, then it was Buddy's fault. So I think it's a necessary evil. I think it's a necessary evil. Uh, I'm pulling for Bryce Young, though, but I don't know, man. I think he's got bus written all over him. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, my uh, my opinion is that it, it's – I mean, people get benched all the time, but how many chances is Andy Dalton going to get to start <laughs> somewhere, man? He's, he's going for yeah. Ryan P- Fitzpatrick numbers. Y'all fucked up, too, because y'all wasn't even going to correct me. Y'all just going to let me look like an asshole. I'm talking about uh, my boy Jordan. You talking about Bryce Young, man. Uh, Who was he? What? I, I, was, uh, I was pulling this picture up. I wasn't even paying attention at first. I didn't uh, realize you said somebody else. Yeah, man. Uh, but like you said, Andy Dalton can come in and elevate that offense. Yeah. What offense? He said, "What offense?" But look at it, man. Look, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Dalton can come and say, "What offense?" Look, look what the cat dragged in. If he can come in and say that, that's that's really gonna make some really gonna make some clowns out out of that uh out of that locker room. You know, what I'm saying well, it's, it's gonna look bad because you know they traded up to get him. Could have had CJ Stroud passed on him. Like that's just bad business for the organization. Like, you know, it's just egg in the face at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so y'all, y'all ain't got no faith in the young boy no more. It's over with. Man, I mean, listen, what? I think they're trying to diagnose if it's him or or if it's the system or what. Cause like <clears> I said, <throat> if Andy Dalton gets in there and he has success, then it's not the system. Maybe Andy Dalton should have been starting in the first place. Uh, I'm not sure how well preseason went for that team. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, but, that's the one problem I have is, like, Panthers don't get a lot of media attention unless it's, like, something like this. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I didn't get a chance to see any of the preseason action or if even Bryce took preseason action. Mm-hmm. So that I don't know, but I think I agree. I think after you see that first season, it's kind of time to set him down and to see if he can learn some. Because it don't look like he's making good reads either. I like mean, his numbers ain't terrible, but like I'm not gonna up here and judge him off his first season. So you know who whose first season I thought he was just gonna be trash. Jalen Hurts. Yeah, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying like it was just I don't know. And another guy, uh, Kyler Murray, is just like you can't really judge him off one season. He, first well, he's been he playing by injury. injury. This play been up and down because of injuries. You know. What you think, uh, man, I don't know if y'all watching this game, but Saquon Barkley is going crazy on the Falcons right now. Oh, Saquon. Yeah. Saquon, Saquon, <laughs> Mr. Barkley. Say- Saquon is a hell of a name for a defensive end. I'm going to have to What do you think about Bryce Young, Diego? Um, I think they put him I think they put him in before he was ready. 
Yeah. And now that he he ain't ready. Oh, am I, what happened? I'm not sure. Just keep going. Keep going. Do your thing. I don't see nobody. Yeah, I think I think they put him in before he was ready, and and that didn't and that uh the pressure destroyed him. And now he don't even got faith in himself anymore. Like he really just out there he collecting a little check that he collecting. And he not even in it no more. Like I think they destroyed him. They didn't put enough around him. They didn't build no confidence in him. And I just think they destroyed him. And that no, is the organization as a whole was going through a pretty major transition, too, because that guy just bought the team right before they got him. So maybe uh, they didn't get the best owner. He bought the team. That, too. The whole organization was doomed no matter who went there. And plus, I think it's uh, – I almost kind of expected this from the head coach, Dave Canales, because, like, that's not who – Dave didn't sign up for bro. He didn't go vouch for bro. He just that's who they gave him. So it's like, uh, they maybe Frank Reich like Bryce Young, but maybe this new coach Dave Canales don't like him at all. You know, maybe he don't fit the system that he has imagined that Panthers organization running at least this season. So he wants them to sit down and watch from the sidelines. Only thing I can think of, yeah. because at this point, sense. like you know. You've invested so much time and money, like you traded up to go get him. Like, you know, if he's going to be a bust, you might as well make him prove that he's a bust. But at this rate, I just think that the head coach has zero faith in what he's trying to do for the team and Bryce Young as a starting quarterback in that system. So make him learn it, I guess. All right. Well, uh, before we get into any more NFL, you guys want to hit some college football while Yego's here? <coughs> yeah, how about them buffs? How about them, man? Them undefeated bucks. They've been, they've been on the terror, man. They No touchdowns allowed in the past two weeks, man. They've been balling. On that. And, and they've been really? throwing that thing. What y'all think about Shadur? Y'all think he gonna be the next big thing or no? Mm-mm. I don't know. I mean, he's not. He he doesn't really have the per. He has the personality of a defensive back like his dad. He don't have the personality of a quarterback. But I don't know that even, personally. I'm not on. He's not even the nervous. next big thing on his team. <coughs> well, I mean, that ain't his fault though. It's not like he's not one of the top guys. I was just going to say, like, Travis, Travis is just, is just on both sides of the ball, <laughs> too. Like, you know what I mean? You don't see Shador on the defense. You only see him when he's taking snaps. You see Travis catching both sides of the ball, so it's kind of hard to not put him above him. But I don't mm-hmm. think that steals from Shador shine, though. So you don't think Shador going to do anything? Mm. Why not? What about his yeah. game don't you like? What do you mean, like, as far as he don't do anything, like, beyond college? Yeah, in the league. You think he NFL, yeah. you think he going to the league? Will he make an a, a, a impact? I think he got potential. Yeah, oh, yeah, he got potential for sure. Mm-hmm. But, was just like. But, like, top draft pick potential? I don't know. Is he top five, top ten? Cause he's supposed to be a top pick, right? For sure. Yeah. I think he's gonna be the if the, if the if the number one pick needs the quarterback, that's who they're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what they're saying. You said it's not what they're saying? No, I said that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah, and then Travis Hunter gonna go to the Patriots. <laughs> that's, they, I heard that. I didn't make Y'all that. Y'all gonna up. have to have a high pick to get him. Right. You said mm-hmm. a high pick? He going top three. Maybe top two. We just had a third round pick. I mean a third pick of the first round. I know, but Gerard Mayo said he's turning over a new leaf. We just lost to the Seahawks. In overtime. Oh, I could have easily won. 
that's our whole season was we could have easily won last season. Hey man, you, you got one game that slipped away, man. Man, see, you didn't pay attention to us last year. We had yeah. – we was up four and seven in games – in games within seven points last year. All our games was close for real. Man, Mac Jones was selling y'all. Yeah, all so right. The hold on. Jacoby Brissett gonna sell <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna bring it back to college. <laughs> yeah. So the latest mock draft from CBS, at least. I don't I gotta scroll down to even find Sugar Sanders. Oh wait. They've got James Pierce. Edge rusher going to the Patriots, and Cam Ward from Miami going to the Panthers. They got them out. The Panthers. Uh, they got to change something. You, know. you guys, do you guys, you guys been watching Miami at all? Not really. Do you? I mean, mean so. Yeah. They just so got. Cam, they just Cam, got, Cam been, Cam been they Ain't they undefeated? Yo, they're coming. The U is back. You know about all that. Watch out. Hey, you know all about getting whooped by the U, Diego. Um, <laughs> well, I beat you. You beat me 17 to 10. I beat you 31 to 6. <laughs> well, I played you on a portal. That ain't my fault. I'm just saying. Yeah, the other right. Sanders, let's find him. All right, they got Travis Hunter going to the Vikings at pick nine, and that's in assuming you know things are. Do you think he can get to the NFL? Do you think Travis Hunter's going to be ball? able to play both sides of the ball in the NFL? I just I literally asked that right as you asked. I don't think they'll let him, dude. So they don't even got Shadur Sanders in the first round in this mock. Hmm, could I be on to something? He met or Quinn Ewers. Did they beat Colorado State? Yeah, but Colorado State ain't good. They lost everybody they had last year. I'm not, last I'm year was like the peak of how good they get. They barely beat them, but they I think they beat them by a couple touchdowns. It was no, it was a close game down at the end. That's right, because they were coming back. So they won and two. I don't know, man. Shador ain't showing that he can win games. Yeah. You ever been watching uh, that boy Isaiah Bond? Uh, where he go to Texas? Yeah, Texas Barnes, yeah. Yeah, them niggas. I ain't gonna lie. I think about the 12 team playoff. I like it, especially uh, after playing it, son. It's cool. I don't know. I think it's something they should have been did. I feel mm-hmm. like it's, it's a good hey, inclusion a for for good go. team. Yeah. And then, you know, that, I don't know. It might have might have something to do with how they how they paying the players and shit like that too. They might have had to come up with a, a little system for it or something. Oh yeah, everything has to do with that now. <laughs> hey, facts. facts. But that ain't a bad thing, if you ask me. Oh, they were, Kirk they Cousins were making stuff. the money. They were making the money themselves way before. Still mm-hmm. not in the bad thing. It's changing families' lives. It's changing people's lives. Mm-hmm. And, that's, I was and, giving, I mean, was, and that was giving kids a reason to actually stay in school. They right. finish their yeah. degree off of yeah. shit. Like, you know. Of course I can go to the NFL and get this bag. But now nah, they pay me to stay here and play here. And I can still get my education. Mm-hmm. Hey, the There's days that the broke college student is over with, the exactly. broke college athlete, them days is over with. <laughs> There's too many people that even the NFL players went broke after a while, you know what I'm saying? Just because they could real gym like that. But, see, Reggie Bush was like, yeah, 
Reggie Bush mad as fuck. Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Y'all gave me my trophy back, but I'm still pissed. Because, man, that's some bullshit. They got yeah, people really. suing, suing for money. Like, people that went to college more recently, they're suing to try to get money that they could have made. Right, now, y'all, now y'all doing too much, man. Well, I think that I think there will be a few people that are able to make a decent case. But it's going to cost like, them the money to get the lawyers and all that. So basically, it's going to have to be somebody that made the money already. Like my boy Cam that's Luke. just going to be able to get something back. <laughs> I don't know if they'll go back that far. But then that that's starting to get to where they're you're going to tank the the entire sport because everybody's going to just be paying out all their money to people. They ain't going to have money to pay employees and shit. And what you think is what what you think is to come? I heard they put it like a like a little like a budget, like a little salary cap for yeah. every team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't, know how basic, true, I don't know how true that NIL shit is because it's changing up so much and it's so new for everybody. Yeah, like, the, the politicians are trying to get involved, so it's changing all the time. We'll see how it ends up, but um, I'm pretty sure there's a cap cap already, like you said. I, mean, I heard, I heard, like a school get like 20 million at the most. Right. Some schools don't have 20 million to give, but well, so yeah, well, that's that's where the have you heard about the collectives? That's yeah. where the collectives come in, where you get a group of people that support the school or whatever that have a bunch of money come together. Yeah, that's what they, they, they were doing put at the first. Money together. Well, that's what they're trying to stop them from being able to do, because that's what all the teams started doing openly. Mm-hmm. Like Tennessee, that's why they had to cap it, because you get you get these bigger schools and they've got people that are willing to put more than twenty million down. Yeah, like like Nico, like one person. <laughs> Hey, they gave they gave Nico eight million his junior year of high school. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Said high school. In high school, Nico Iamalava at Tennessee. I think it's his freshman year this year. Oh. What you think about that, Beasy? No. NIL money. So, I like it. It should have been a thing a long time ago. I feel like college sports has made billions of dollars off of athletes. And I feel like, uh, think about all the failed athletes that um, hurt themselves before they could make it to the pros and stuff, man. If they would have had a chance to get an NIL deal, man, that would have been sweet, man, you know, because they, they could have been on the big things, but, you know, they got hurt. So, that would have been kind of like a security blanket of some sort. So I think this is something just like the, the playoffs that should have been in the college sports. And I think that we're only going to continue to see things grow from here. And you're going to see the um the big monopoly schools. I think that's going to eventually even out. You know what I mean? Like the recruiting ain't going to be as great as it used to be now because other schools are going to be able to use money and other tactics to recruit. Well, they're saying that's why guys like Nick Saban are getting out. For sure. And you see, he got a out of there. Well, even he he came in uh, with a pretty good statement uh, now that he's on TV. He was saying, you can spend $20 million all you want, but you, you still better get the right players. Oh, for sure. Much saying that, like, they're still going to be – they're still going to be the guys that are better at it than other people. Oh, absolutely. Because of their but, recruiting. Not but just the they're able to handle. that at least gives you a chance to, you know, get your school out there and maybe consider maybe not the best talent, but some of the other talents to come and play for you since you've got a big player, a big name here, big name here. Right. And I guess the point is, is if you if you level the playing field with the money, people are going to start seeking out playing time and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Just the mm-hmm. money. Yeah, money ain't going to be the end all be all of. Exactly. It's going to be how much can you pay me? How much am I going to see the field? Uh, right. The money's going to be a standard. They're going to be able to go where they want to go and still make We know you. We know we're going to get paid. Now, how y'all going to treat me when I get there? What is life like? What is life going to be like on campus? 
Right. What you think about that shit, Arco? You ain't said much. Yeah, that's why I said. Uh, if, if, like, like, say a player was to get paid in advance, you know what I'm saying, to come to a team or whatever, you know, let's say you do have somebody, you know, uh, coming off the bench or just under them that's not getting paid, you know what I mean? Like, it, some adjustment has to be made, you know what I mean? I would think, uh, especially if you got a, a good following, you know what I'm saying? If you got a crowd coming to see you, like that's just something that's going to, uh, I, I could see that becoming a problem, but nonetheless, like BZ said, they should have been doing this anyway, you know, but I don't think it should be, uh, I don't think it should be preset uh, on how much a player should get played. You know what I'm saying? I did. It should be a base rate. You know what I'm saying? If especially if people putting in the work and making the team. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me. I don't know about a base uh, rate. Like you know, uh, but why not? It's yeah, Like you gotta earn your spot. You know. Exactly. You gotta earn your spot. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like just, just the, just the come to the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, well, like, like a backup. Really it, should, it should be like a minimum. It should be a minimum for sure. Mm -hmm. It should be a minimum for sure. But a third string quarterback should never be paid as much as a starter. I don't give a fuck what level mm -hmm. they at. Yeah, I agree it on that. It should be a minimum for sure. It should be a minimum to uh, make sure I'm cool, make sure I'm taken care of. Even if I never see the field, I'm here just in case, so I should be paid for my time. You're mm -hmm. right about that. Yeah. But, shit, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing, though. Beautiful thing, man. Like, yeah, you know, that's just uh, like you, like I was saying, it, it, it's gonna create the generational wealth. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't no more going broke. You know what I'm saying? Even if even if you don't make it uh, as a pro or even if you do make it as a pro, you know what I'm saying, you get hurt or, you know, uh, just just keeping the guys in the curriculum of, of of learning, you know what I'm saying, or standing on business, you know what I mean? That's that's where it, what it's all about. Hey, um, I just wanted to ask, what's up with um, the Cleveland Browns and Deshaun Watson? One and one. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. My boy, my boy can still play uh, uh, A winless, a winless <laughs> jungle cat could never, huh? We just barely lost on some, on a couple crazy calls to the defending Super Bowl champions. Hey, you know it's Trevor Lawrence can never beat the guy. What's with. new? Just like any other time y'all play him. Oh, really? Because hey, how did we get to the Super Bowl the one year then? Because I'm yeah. pretty sure we went through Burrowhead. It don't matter that y'all got. Oh, to the okay, Super Bowl. okay, okay. Hey, the, since when does getting to the Super Bowl? Nah, matter? bro. Because okay, you talking about that? But he just said we don't beat them. When's the last time Cleveland beat them? Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody when is the last time Cleveland Patrick beat them, Mahomes bro? Y'all heard Pat Patrick Mahomes and Chad Henney came in and finished y'all off. So, again, a brownie. What is the brownie talking about? A elf? We talking about hey, an elf? Hey, no we, talking about, no. we talking about one and one. That's what we talking about. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, but no I still want to no. talk about your quarterback. Y'all talking about the record, but let's talk about your quarterback and how he is yeah. robbing y'all for millions. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean... We got one win. 
Y'all are paying a shit ton of hey, money for no way. Who is y'all getting away with robbery? Uh, Joe Burrow getting away with robbery too. Who did y'all just beat though? Jaguar. You shut the fuck Ooh. up. That's what hey, I'm saying, nigga. I lost to the Patriots. <laughs> I, lost to the Patriots. <laughs> I didn't even want to say it. Hey, bro, goddamn it. You a Browns fan right now? Come on. Are you, you a Browns fan? Hey, because no, I, 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 I'm talking Patriots. to the Browns fans right now. We're going to talk about Jacoby Brisket in a second, bro. We going to because you're acting like a Brown fan right now, bro. If you're a secret Ls fan, that's cool, Jamar. That's that's great. Like, you killing me with this shit right now, bro. But like I said, I'm just he, trying to understand why you're trying to justify being winless. Sir, I'm right. not trying to justify anything. What I asked was is how we felt about Deshaun Watson, and then y'all instantly got offended and, and started talking about records. Yeah, I, I asked about y'all quarterback. You right. <laughs> you right. Let me go grab his blood. I, 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 I was talking about the bum-ass Patriots, and they won and won record, too, and with that easy dub that they got. Okay, cool, but that's what I'm saying. I wanted to talk about Deshaun Watson, and I I really want to talk about was his bad gameplay. Was his bad gameplay in game one so bad that they tried to reignite this nigga's case so he wouldn't get that money? <laughs> I mean, is that legal? How is that hey, even possible? Hey, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Time out. <laughs> BZ, you will find it. You will have a hard time finding a Browns fan that would not be happy. To hear that that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but how is this legal, bro? I don't know. Because, like, yeah, I, I feel like he's already NFL? stood up in court. He got Plenty suspended. You know what I mean? So it's like, how is this How is this rearing its head again? I mean, granted, it would be saving y'all, so I get that you wouldn't be mad about it, bro, but I, I just was, think it's crazy. I was... Perfectly satisfied with Faker Mayfield as my quarterback. I didn't make the decision, my dude. <laughs> and that's another thing I want to know. Baker why Mayfield did Baker look so shaky for Cleveland and looking like the man in Tampa? Shaky? Hey, shaky, hey. He, he was, was, he was shaky was in shaky. Cleveland, bro. He was setting records. Hey, he was balling the tad bit, but it was inconsistent. He had that good year. Then he came back and tried to play hurt, and then it was. Yeah, just like uh, he should have. He sh- they should have sat him down like they did Deshaun last year. They didn't give him the same benefit. It's whatever, though. I ain't. That is crazy. Why would they? Man, I've been through so many quarterbacks, dude. I'm just waiting for this shit to be over with. I'm gonna root for him. He, he didn't look too bad. They they protected him a bit. It is what it is. You want to talk about off the field? I mean, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do? You going to sit here and tell me a Bengals player ain't never got in trouble? Come on, man. Oh, man. Come on, man. We was the, uh, Come on, man. the, king, Come of, on. We was the king of DUIs for like two years. <laughs> So now, it, it trust me, we, we had a player that had to retire because he wouldn't stop driving drunk. Yeah. Shit. Uh, Keith Rivers? Y'all yeah. yeah, remember him? Uh, no, nah, I remember that, but I say that to say this. Why is the Sean Watson struggling? Are you right? It seems like he just ain't as good as he used to be. They just need to. Uh, <laughs> I, see, I agree Taylor, with what Arco said. That, Taylor, he, Taylor, he, 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 I watched Michael Parsons and the Cowboys like destroy y'all, and then the Cowboys couldn't do anything against the Saints line. Like, is the Saints line that much better than y'all's? Because I don't know nobody on their line. Our line looked a lot better this week than last week. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Jacksonville. But yeah, that's just about to say it is Jacksonville. Uh, I said, we can get some. They, Cowboys is a top tier team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Are they really? Did we just see what are. happened to them? Are they, they are, really? Bro. They are. So, okay, you I asked you, ask you this. So, what's the Saints then? Hey, man. Looks like they might be top tier. Saints win the points in two games. They always give Atlanta and the Cowboys hell. You know what I'm saying? They they just 
Oh, they just match up well. They got to watch. One of them weeks, they going to end up score going to get the flip just like they did the Cowboys. Well, yeah, and done by we else. can't trust you know, their so car. I don't care what nobody says. Uh, he looking real different this year. He looking like he tired of being on the losing side of the ball. <laughs> Who's that? Alvin Kamara. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, He's been how long has he been there? He's been in the league, what, like ten years almost, ain't he? Almost, yeah. He should he was, be on the air back when they when they were still, you know, making the them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Four touchdowns though. Look yeah. like he's young again. If they That's keep him healthy, else. they could have a good season for sure. That's the problem is keeping him healthy. So I don't know though. Like, when do they fall off, bro? Is it like when? When do they start looking like the Saints again? Because right now, them niggas looking crazy. Are you yeah, about week five? Week five, week six. Yeah. Got to yeah. figure out whatever it is they doing. They play the they play the Eagles next, and they got the Chiefs. So it's one of the next two games. Probably. Oh yeah, if not. Oh no, they got the Eagles, then the Falcons, and then the Chiefs. Yeah, to be the team that's scoring forty points, bro. The Chiefs, I know they could go. They could go bomb for bomb with them right now. <laughs> but the Eagles, the Eagles got a goose egg against the damn Falcons right now. I was about to say these are the next two teams that the Saints play, and they're in the second quarter with three points total on the board. So I think yeah, that it's going to take a couple weeks for the Saints to fall off. <laughs> it's probably the Chiefs, week five, Jeez. like you said. That's what you called it without even knowing who they were playing. I guess. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say because just because I know they got that dynamic offense that could put up points on most at will. Chiefs barely made it out that game last week. We'll see. The Chiefs almost barely made it out of both of them. They, they, yeah, they had made close it. games both they wins. They could they could easily be 0-2 as well. Yeah, they was this much of a toe. They was this much of a toe from a whole different game against Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He got that touchdown. I don't care what nobody say. Nah, that's uh, toe it, on the line game. Man, that toe was in there, man. Oh, I'll right. oh, tell you another thing I hate about sports. Why are they going to come out with a news article talking about Mike Gazeki's uh, touchdown in New England should have been a touchdown? I'm like, why even why even publish this? Who cares? <laughs> like, who cares? That was two weeks ago. I know, right? And then even then, it don't change nothing. It's still a L. Uh oh, Philly trying to wake up. Devontae Smith catching twenty yard bomb. Hey, we're not allowed to do that. You got to wait a little bit longer before you say what happens. Oh, never mind. Oh. We're not live. You're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're recording. You're good. What they got? Hey, I don't care. You good? Oh, I say as long as I don't show it, we cool, right? We can talk you're about. You're not allowed to do play by play in real time. Oh. You can react, hmm. but you can't like be like, "Oh, Devonte Smith, twenty-three yards." <laughs> Why not? That's weird. It's only a not they not they not recording, so we're good. It's people on YouTube right now doing. It. Well, then you're basically doing a radio broadcast without paying for the rights. Hmm. That's I sounds mean, that's like a, monopolization to me. We we wouldn't really come across that until you know we were doing this live or anything. So. Hey, bro, how was wrestling? Oh, hey, did you guys go to that? That uh, who would y'all see fight? Uh, bunch of nobodies for real. Nah, Which okay, wasn't no big name. Yeah, it was one of them little Saturday AW Saturday show. Okay. It was fun though. Are you saying it like that? Cause you 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 waiting to save the uh, juicy parts for Paul? No, I'm just saying like you know. Okay. I'm trying. Really, I'm trying to think of who I was there like. 
It was just hey, like um, like what's the remember? tickets like to go see one of? I want to see one of the woman cards. You remember like, remember Sunday Night Heat? Yeah, that was kind of like the comparison of what we went to go see. Yeah, okay. Like, so it wasn't like a, a SmackDown type event, like where it was, it was like the up next people instead of the. Yeah. The undercard, like an undercard show. Yeah, got you, got you. Cool. Well, uh, you yep, they're going be... for it on fourth and three. Uh oh. You guys want they to see it on, the on fourth anymore? down twice? Well, we got it. Yeah, how about them oh. Raiders? They got, uh, oh, that's a why he slide because he ain't Tua. Because they, uh, they got the uh, and they got the Raiders fucked up. You like, hey, you like no. that one, don't you? Hey, Gardner Minshew said he deserved to be a starter in his league. If you think about it, he's had success almost everywhere he's went on some Ryan Fitzpatrick shit. He wasn't too bad in Jacksonville. I fucked with him. No. And he had a small stint with Indianapolis too, if I'm not mistaken. For uh, yeah, yeah. when Richardson went down. Didn't you yeah. play in Philadelphia for the season? The effects. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think he did play in Philly. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, they must have that was a hell of an upset. Yeah, here's yeah. pictures of him in, in Philly. Yep, he did play in Philly. I don't know. Um, you said it was an upset, hell of an upset? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, they got, uh, what's his name, Devontae Adams? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the world just got him fucked up. He said, I don't need Aaron Rodgers. We about to go do this shit. He's been trying to say that. He really has. They just throw me the ball, man. <laughs> but you still got uh, Josh Jacobs, too? No. Nah. Nah. Josh Jacobs. He in Green Bay. Yeah, he, nah. went, <laughs> he went looking for Aaron Rodgers, and then he got there and realized <laughs> he already <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all think uh, about Aaron Rodgers? I think he washed. I don't know. He not win. Hey, bro. Hey, he did hey, have two TDs in the little boy. I think I think his wheels is washed. He still got that arm, and he still oh, got sure. that. You remember? Yeah, it's like Peyton like Manning right at the end. Like he can stand there and throw the ball real well. Yeah, he can stand there it. and throw the ball for sure. <laughs> he he don't gotta. But that was a that was a huge part of his game though that made him who he was. Yeah, his, his right. mobility. Okay. When the play the play break down, he can oh, oh shit, hold up, let me run over here and see. The and then set up and do it. And just do it from there. He got the mentality though, you know what I mean? He, he don't have to run. Hey, I think he can stand there and throw that ball, man. I got faith in the Jets right now. Mm hmm I don't know. I think that Patriot defense is gonna put it in his life this Thursday though. Yeah, that's a tough division, man. I like that division right now. The uh, AFC East? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Miami. Is is tough, tough over there for mm -hmm. us, boy. This is the wrong time to be trying to rebuild, boy. <laughs> I do find that funny. Y'all ran that division for years with Tom Brady. As soon as he leave, they decided to get real good all of a sudden, especially when Josh Allen hit the team. <laughs> yeah. So good that they don't even know who's going to win the division these days. I know. It is a toss-up. It'd be like that all the way to the end of the season with the Bills and the Dolphins. Yeah. Okay. Now Aaron Rodgers over there, man. It's tough for us. Yeah. So, is there anything else sports related you guys want to hit on? Uh, oh yeah, the mag curse is still definitely real. 
I, mean, I don't feel like after this season, I feel like everybody should just vote to put John Madden back on the cover. I mean, this mm-hmm. was the wrong example. Oh, yeah. Like they it was almost it. inevitable for him to get hurt anyway. Yeah, the way that they use him. It was he's a fragile ass halfback anyway. He was bound to get hurt with or without the curse. Yeah, but let's not ignore that everybody that's been on the case has been hurt, though. Hey, for sure. Not everybody. Not Who? everybody. Who escaped? I think, I think uh Gronkowski. No. No, I think uh, it did. Yeah. yeah, I think it might have been Brady. I think it was Tom Brady. No, I was like, because even Pat had got hurt that one year. Mm-hmm. Calvin Johnson had his 1,964 receiving yards the year he was on it. But he still got hurt, didn't he? <laughs> nah, but I mean, he, he retired early. A few years later. I hate he played for the same team Barry Sanders played for, and they both had the same retirement. The Lions, man, they ruined two of the best careers that the NFL has ever seen. So is that what's about to happen to St. Brown? You don't see it already happening. I don't know. I <laughs> think I think nah. I think the Lions are different than they've ever been. I mean, for sure, but they still Dan ain't Campbell's do got them. They definitely trending up. Hey, Ooh, sure, but they still NFC ain't Championship shit. game last year. That's and more than any of us can say. St. Brown is gonna get the fuck out of there if it look like that shit ain't gonna happen. I think he the type that he really want to win. So if he got to get the fuck out of there to do that, he going to end up getting the fuck out of there to try to do that. You guys don't believe in the Lions? Hell no. Nah. They got to show me. Uh, they the went to the teams that got to show me no matter how good yeah. they get. You know, I they just, I don't know. If you, I don't, it's not the Lions. The I just don't think I trust Dan play. Campbell. I think Dan Campbell is just too aggressive as a head coach. That's who I don't believe in. You mean like, like they call him? Yeah, because he was the reason they lost last year in the playoffs because he – we going for it. Nah, bro, play the long game, bro, the playoffs. Hey, the Lions, it's several teams that no matter how good they get, they got to show me that they can do it before I be like, oh, yeah got to watch out for them. The Browns yeah. is definitely one of them. I don't give a fuck how good y'all get. Y'all got to win something to show me. The Bengals mm-hmm. down there, y'all got to hey, y'all Hold just got to win it Hold all. On. What what constitutes winning something? Winning it all. A Super Bowl? Yes. Yeah, that eliminates like half the league though. Facts. <laughs> Facts. But no, like what I'm saying is, it's certain Man. organizations. You don't certain organizations look, Diego, that just You don't got like, too used to winning the damn Super Bowl, my dude. Ooh, I ain't winning, Not everybody has a Tom Brady, my nigga. Dude, you grew up Bro, you're winning not the Super what Bowl. I'm saying. You're not <laughs> hearing what I'm saying. Like, I don't give a fuck how good the Ravens. I don't give a fuck how good the Ravens are until they win it all. They always choke in the playoffs. They won it all, though. We got a couple. Yeah, they got a ring. Twenty. Uh, what was that? Two thousand. They beat Kaepernick, there. didn't what they? Talking about. But you're right. Maybe I'll take the Ravens off that list. I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no, you're right though about the Lamar Jackson era. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing about Lamar Jackson is. And, I mean, you can't deny it. Like, it's not even, like, if you like him or not. Like, you like, can be the like, biggest Lamar Jackson fan, and you're like, what the fuck happens like, like, every like, year in the like playoffs? Like, Rivers and LT with the Chargers. Yeah, y'all low, Kirk but Cousins. Gotta show me. Kirk Cousins make the playoffs every year and go out first Kirk round. Kirk Cousins, whatever the fuck team Kirk Cousins on. <laughs> you got to show me. Like, yeah, y'all made it here, <laughs> but you got to show me that y'all can get it done. <laughs> Man, uh, Patriots, you gotta, you gotta show me what, 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 you know, before you can talk the Patriots too, because you guys ain't got nothing. You guys had so who you? Well, 
I got six Same. championships you, you, that I saw. Nah, uh, uh. No, you hey, just took away all of that, all those rings from all them other teams, and you ain't got nothing left that gave what you rings that rings. did I take away from teams? I said the Lions and the Browns and Kirk Cousins. <laughs> what rings right. did I take away all right, from anybody? Yeah, you win. You win. Cool. All right. Do y'all got right. faith in Justin Fields? <laughs> Yeah, not because of Justin Fields, though, because of uh, Mike, Mike Tomlin. Tomlin. TJ Watt? Hey, Mike nah, Tomlin. Mike is Tomlin is TJ Watt. It's the situation he done landed himself in. I, I think, think Mike Tomlin. In my lifetime. Mike Tomlin could get anything out of any player that's good enough to be in the NFL. That dude's the best player coach Motivated. in the league. Motivator like, skill builder. Yeah. Man. The quarterbacks he was playing with last year, he should have won what, like four games? True enough. He had a winning season with Kenny Pickett. He can't even get a starting job in the league now. Right. Y'all got faith in Caleb Williams. That's another team that gotta show me. I don't give a fuck he how started good off the looking really got. good. Remember when Erlacher yeah. and them was good? Yeah. I don't I don't think he looked good in his uh, season debut. No, I'm talking about last night at the beginning of the game. He was like eight for eight or something like that. Because they got him throwing it in two and a half seconds instead of. Yeah, I was just going to say, he, he's he's hitting check down receivers. He ain't. Eh. He was turning down the field. I don't know. I only watched the very beginning. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's got hype. But yeah, you, got, you guys want to wrap this up? Yeah, man. Anything else you wanna wanna talk about? I'm ready to get get in this. About it for me. It's about time for me to get off here and take my medicine anyway. This medicine. I hope so. (laughs) (laughs) Um. All right. Well. uh... You want me to end it? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Beasy did it. All right, world. This is for Tuck B, Black Jesus, Arco, Big Yago, Four Yes, and Beasy. We signing out from Everybody Knows Sports, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time. <laughs>